Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, SAPSD and ABAP League Support. It is continuation series on SAPSD ABAP debugging for functional consultant. We have already published one video on that how to change the field values in the database table level. Today, we will continue from where we left in that video and it is i mean to say that there are other two more ways available to edit or modify the database table entries let's see what are those two ways now first let's, let's recollect what we already published video about the field changes I am going to the transaction code SC16N. Okay, I have given some VBAK table here. Apply breakpoint, click on enter. Debug new switch on, now click on execute. So in order to modify the entries in the table level, in SC16 in transaction code, we should use the these two variables gd hyphen edit, gd hyphen sap edit. Let me, as of now, it is inactive. Let me click on F7 until it will become active. F7, 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 F7. Now it has been active and we can see the change pencil icon has been enabled. Okay, click this one and click add X here and click this one, add X here as well. And if I click execute now, see now entire database table is editable in front of us. So we can add or we can delete or we can create a duplicate record from this existing one or create a new entry. So we can simply manipulate many things here. In a mass way also we can delete, select multiple uh, records. Then uh, click on delete. So we have a lot of options here to manipulate the data in the database table level with the help of the variables GD edit and GD SAP edit in SC16 in transaction code. Let's see what are other two ways that we can use it to modify the database table entries. This time I'm going to use the transaction code SE16. Okay, SE16. Again, I'm going to use the same table VBAK and give the table name here. And at the top, you see contents. Click this one and now execute okay so so how to edit in this t code sc16 first let me double click on any of the record here let me click on first record double click now it has been displayed as of now we see everything is grayed out that means it is not editable for us now how to make this editable for us First, let's apply breakpoint slash h enter. Now click on execute F8. Sorry, uh, click on enter now, not execute F8. Click on enter. Apply breakpoint and click on enter now. Okay, so let me add that field again. Let me add code as well. Okay, let me click on F7. Okay, you see here, this code variable now enabled. It's active. We can manipulate the data now. Coming to other field, GD edit and GD SAP edit. These two are still inactive. That means these two are valid, valid only in the 
transaction code SE16N only. So there only this field will be available and we can manipulate it and do the changes in the database table level. Coming to SC16, only code variable is available. That means in SC16, we can use this code variable to manipulate the data in the database table level. Currently it is show value it is having as show. Show means just display. It won't allow us to edit. So what I will do, I click this pencil icon and I will make it as edit. Remember that we should enter edit in capital letters, not in small letters. Okay. Click on edit and now enter. If I click on F8, you see now it has been editable. Right? Okay. And you can see in the heading also change. Right. Let me go back now. Again, click one more record. And now it become display again. Again, breakpoint. And enter. Now let me click F7 until the code variable is enabled. Now it's enabled. So edit means we can edit the values. Suppose if you want to insert new record, what we can do? Again, click on this pencil icon. This time add value as INSR. Means insert. As of now, you see display here, right? If I execute now, the head title also will be changed. Execute your fate now. See, now it becomes insert. So it is going to insert a new record to VBAK table. Right? I mean, we need to save it, then only to, the changes will be captured. Okay. Let me go back and uh, take one more record now. Again, breakpoint. Enter. Let me click F7 again. Okay, now let me. So we have seen two things now. Edit and edit for uh, modifying the existing record database table. INSR2, add the new record to the database table. One more variable is delete, D-E-L-E. -E. Use this variable, then system will allow us to delete this particular record in the database table. If you click delete entry and save it means it will be saved. Mm, okay, don't save is not enabled here. Anyways, we are getting a message saying that record has been deleted. Fine. So the main disadvantage of this using code variable in a 16 is you see here we need to go each and every record. Then we need to decide whether we are going to edit it, insert it, delete it. So as per our request, we need to change that code variable values every time. Right? And coming to assist Indian, if you see here, this is completely in front of us. And here we can do anything. Simply update X in that GD edit, GDSP edit variables. And if you execute now in assist in N, see, Everything in front of us, we can create, add new record, delete, duplicate record, anything can be done. And mass changes also can be carried out here. Right? Here we have a lot of flexible here. But a code variable, it's a, a very a tiring basically, right? So it will allow us to change only one record at a time and that to one, one activity only. Either delete we can, either we can edit, either we can insert. We can't do everything together. But in this assist engine, with the help of these uh, two variables, we can do many things in a mass. So we have a lot of flexibility, a lot of advantages with this way when we do. So we have seen two things, two variables, GD edit and GDSAP edit in SC16 N. Okay. And in SC16, in SC16, we are using code variable. Code variable can be used in other T code as well, that is SE11. It's a dictionary, transaction code, click SE11 and add the VBAK table and sell the radio button as database table and click on display. Now you see the table content. Click this one. Again, same view only. So what we see in SE16, same view here also we can see. Uh, click on execute again click on any items 
and we can do the changes so we can't do mass changes in sc 16 or sc 11 okay so that's the advantage of using gd edit and gd scp edit comparing to code variable fine there's a one, one, one more last way option is there to modify the database tables for example you don't have access to sc 11 or sc 16 or sc 16 but still you want to update the values or else you don't have any debugging access in the system and how you can still manipulate the values in the database table there is a one functional model available let me tell you that so let's go to the transition code sc 37 c37 hmm. so there's a functional model called sc16 interface okay give this uh, function model click on uh, execute okay in the first field i tab we should give the table name as vbak whatever we need the table okay and second field i edit mention as x and in iscp edit again mention as x and execute now if execute see i am coming to the screen yes e 16 now with editable option If you know the debugging, if you know the variables, simply use GD edit and GD SCP edit debugging. If you don't know the variables, if you don't have access to SC16 Indian or you don't know how to debug it means, simply use this function model, SC16 Indian underscore interface. So these are the three ways, code and this function model and those two variables. So with the help of these three ways, we can manipulate the data in the database table level. Hope this video is very helpful to you guys. We'll meet in the next video. Thank you so much.